What's up y'all? It's Brian SLC Farms. Well, today's video, it's not me filming. Y'all, country gal finally broke out the camera for us. Did a little filming of the work she was doing. So I hope y'all watch. Everybody that watches better leave her a damn nice comment. Or, uh, you know, I'll have, to, I'll have something to say about it. But, uh, look, it's her first time. Appreciate y'all watching. And, uh, like I say, we'll see y'all on the next one. All right, it is a country gal here today. Gonna be tethering some hay. This beautiful piece of property. Uh, we have, um, Anyways, you can't see much of it from here, but um, it's a really nice piece of property. We've got some new ground back there that still needs a little bit of work and uh, will definitely increase our hay supply. But anyways, I'm not the best at this, so I'm gonna get in the tractor and get going. Maybe have some shots for y'all to see and uh, let's get it done.
Right now I'm just going along the edge of the property and um, getting the outer areas that are sometimes due to the trees a little harder to get dry. Um, but we've had a lot of trees taken out here. So right now we don't have too much on the edges right now. grown up stuff you see on the uh, edges over here is new ground and uh, it's still a little rough needs a little more work so for now we're just going to work the original area and uh, we've got some good looking hay and hope that we can get um, the good Lord to provide us with some sun and uh, get this dried for us to get it bailed up before more rain comes. So, see some nice rows that the mower made for us. Lays it down really nice. You can see through the dirty meat. Yeah, that's about it. Got the tutter here behind us. This thing is massive. Takes up or covers a lot of ground, I should say, not takes up. Covers a lot of ground, gets the job done a lot faster. get back to it and um, check it back in a little bit. All right, so as Brian requested, I am trying to record some of what's going on today. Uh, I've got almost this whole field done, but I've got a uh, rod broken back here I don't know if you can see it bobbing but it's just kind of like a safety bracket I'm pretty sure and it's probably just broken off due to old age and I don't think it's able to go back in there but we're gonna get out and take a look at it and see if I can maybe rig it up so it'll quit bouncing. Got the good old gorilla tape. So let's go and check out. Otherwise, everything seems to be working really good. And um, no other problems. All right, so normally this bracket is a little leveled out. It's kind of level with this one. And you can see it's just broken loose. It looks like it's broken before somebody welded it back on. So I'm gonna see if I can pull it up and tape it on there. I definitely don't want the tines, pretty sure that's what those are called, um, swinging around and this is bouncing and grab a hold of it and then it rips it off, breaks those. Then you got a whole other situation. So, let's see if I can put you on here and fix it. Looks like it's already kind of bent. Uh -oh. I didn't do that. <laughs> okay, that would. 
would be better. Let's see. Not really the one that can fix stuff, not medically inclined or anything. I've got some common sense smarts, but I can jerry rig some stuff in a minute. Just ask Brian. We're gonna try to do this. Let's see if this holds. <laughs> really need too much of this but we're just do a little extra there we go all right <laughs> see if this works get old gorilla type all right let's Get back in here. Get this done. I think everything else looks a okay. All right. Just have this little section. And then a portion of that will be done here. So not too bad. Sure. All right, I guess we'll try this vantage point. Kind of gets loud in here. So, <clears throat> I don't know how much talking you'll be able to hear me. Um, but at least you'll get a little bit of a view and ride along. Sorry about that. Back there. 
bunch of uh, gold for the door back there. They usually get lots of snacks after we mow the field. A lot of little appetizers for them to feast on. Which, you know, that happens. Can't really help it. Circle of life, I guess. I'm probably gonna just hold it a little bit. So a few more laps on this side. We'll be done. Still got plenty of daylight. So I'm not in a huge hurry, but I do have some customers. That'll be meeting me at the farm, so I definitely want to get back before they arrive. I was definitely a little apprehensive to use this tether. One we had before was, half, I don't even know, maybe a third of this size. Nowhere near the weight. Nowhere near the weight or the length. It would take three laps over probably what this one does. So it's really great to have. And, um, it's pretty easy to maneuver around and just can't make really sharp turns. Uh, but otherwise, it does a really great job. And anytime we can do the job just as well and faster, uh, benefits us greatly because the majority of the time, it's just us two trying to get all this hay done. Since we don't do square bales anymore and haven't for uh, years out in the field, um, it, the way we do everything now is much easier and a lot of times we just need somebody to drive a truck um, and maybe load the hay themselves to get it back to the farm instead of having actual people out in the field throwing hay, stacking hay, unstacking hay, and then you go to deliver to a customer and then you used to have to stack it again. So you're touching that hay in the field, at the farm, then back on the trailer at the farm again to, to make a delivery, and then unloading it, uh, unloading it again at the customer so you're touching that hay four times after it's bailed so the way that we do things now it just it makes more sense it saves us so much time and work and you know if you can save your body a little bit of uh ache and joint pain whatever as you get older I'm, I'm all about it. But I think we still get bounced around in these tractors just as much. But thankful to have one. Thankful to be in the air conditioning. Um, this hay doesn't bother me as much as uh, the fescue. Um, actually, I don't think this the crabgrass or the millet bother me at all, just like orchard. It's mainly fescue and uh, some other grass. So I'd have to ask Brian what it is. But it really uh, tears up my allergies and um, I, I start to feel my throat getting scratchy and um, 
it's harder for me to breathe. Um, it's it's not that serious. Um, if I just step away from it or take a allergy pill, it'll ease up. And it'll usually ease up on its own once I get away from it. Um, but growing up, I never uh, had issues with um, any grasses that I know of. Like most people, I was allergic to like poison oak. But now that's kind of subsided. I don't really, I might get a little um, lesion or place from being around poison oak if I am, but not like I used to when I was a kid. I would break out like crazy and um, have the good old pink uh, calamine lotion on my legs and arms and face and all that stuff. Hopefully this camera view is not boring and I get to paying attention where I've got to drive and not paying attention to how I'm holding the camera so I don't even know if this footage is going to be worth posting or worth watching. This is definitely not my thing. Um, growing up I was always in my room playing the radio or my cassette tapes, whatever, recording myself singing. That I, I would do but to sit and film and talk. It's just um, not my thing. I don't like my regular voice. I'm very southern and uh, yeah my accent is a little funky. So yeah I just don't like the sound of my voice when it's recorded. So that's why a lot of times I don't get on here and talk say a lot. A little, looks like my taping job did not hold up. I was trying not to use a lot, but I guess I should have used more. We'll see how it does for a little bit. Then I might stop and try to fix it. I don't even know if you can uh, see it bobbing around back there. Pretty hard to see, but um, this section up here is all that I have left to do, and then we'll probably come back tomorrow and go over it again just to make sure we get it all dried out. You can see it's, it's pretty thick, which is great. We really just have to pray that we can get it dried out and bailed up in the barn before the rain comes. It's like the most, one of the most important things we've got to take care of. And uh, we're definitely thankful for the rain to get our hay growing, but I think we've had enough. We've made up for the lack of rain. And so now we just need to need to dry out and be able to get this hay up. So I'm gonna finish up this field. Probably boring. Sound boring. And uh, I don't know. I might. Um, the rest, but we will see you soon. Alright, so after this, I've decided to go out and try to fix this rod again. Because it is banging up against those tines and 
tape is about to fall off and I don't want that getting into the hay and you never know some animal might actually try to eat it or customer find it and then they will definitely not be happy so I'm gonna try to do a better job <laughs> at taping one thing is problem is it's got some grease on there and so it's not wanting to stick I'm gonna put it back on here see if we can get this taped up one more time if not I'll just have to leave it so I can finish up not a big deal all right Let's see if I can I wanted to try to line it up but man, it's definitely bent <sighs> So that's another reason why it's so hard to keep it tight. Let me see if I can bend it a little more. Okay, that's better. And let me get this tight situated again. Let's see if I can wrap it up. And also, this bracket right here, it's got kind of a sharp edge. So I'm sure when it's moving around, it's kind of cutting the tape as it bounces, but we're gonna try to double it up. Actually, maybe like quadruple to wrap this thing. I'm gonna go down a little further this time. Brian's gonna be like, what in the heck did you do? But if it works, about one more. Okay, not much exciting goes on when you're out here in the field unless something tears up. So, figured I'd record it. So there's that. We'll see if it holds up. And get back going. Just have this little bit. This area right through here. And then back there just a little ways and we'll be done i think the battery is not gonna hold up for me to finish to show you the end but i'm sure y'all seen enough hay out in the field We'll sign off for right now and, oops, sorry. We'll get going and then I'll show you when I'm done. All right, so something's going on back there. You could hear that it was uh, hitting. I'm hoping it's not too bad. We're gonna go check it out before the battery goes dead in the camera from what I could see it didn't sound good yeah so it looks like these are locking up and hitting each other not really sure what would cause that for them to go out of sync <sighs> all right I'm gonna have to raise it up I'm sure anybody watching probably knows what I could do
they were already um, kind of pinging against each other on this side. So I'm not really sure what got them to where they're closer to each other. I have to call good old Brian. But I'm going to try a couple things first. Alright, let me cart this off. Alright, so real quick, I have um, found on the top part of the this disc thing, this arm is loose, so we're going to have to get that tightened up. I haven't checked all of them, but... I um, called Mr. Brian and he's going to try to ride over here and get it fixed so we can get this rest of this field done. This is literally all I had, this strip right here. So, better than I thought it was. I thought something worse was wrong and I uh, think we'll get this fixed and uh, get it done. See you on the next one. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed Country Gals filming. It sure is a shame that she uh, broke down. I know there at the end, she said uh, she didn't think it was quite a big issue and hopefully I could fix it pretty quick. Well, unfortunately guys, as you can see, we're standing here in the barn. I've got the tether behind us and uh, she's actually got some major issues. Something in the main gearbox back here has give way. And uh, our main gearbox right here, something has given way. I'm hoping it's just a shear key inside of there. There's a, a, a hex shear key. But one side of the tether is spinning. I got three baskets spinning. The other side is doing nothing. When that shear key gave out, the side that wasn't spinning, the clanging she heard was this one impacting that one and it bent one, two, three, four, bent four that I know of. The other two may be bent and lost one full tether arm there. So we're going to have to get inside that main gearbox, see what's going on with that. Order some tether arms, get those put back on. So, working on it again. I just retimed this thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it jumped timing again or what. I've had a few issues. Um, a couple years ago, I went between two trees that were too small, too narrow, and broke this thing in half. And ever since then, I've had issues. I think a lot of it is that I think I fixed it all and then there's another part that's been weakened or something like that that we didn't catch or whatnot and then gives way or it's just a chain reaction going down the line or it could be it's just an older tether and it's just, you know, giving us some issues and might be time for a trade and getting something new. Won't be this year though. Luckily, in crutch, as the farmer community is, Got a good neighbor just up the road. Happened to have a spare four basket tether. It's been sitting a couple of years. It's actually a brand new tether. It's only four years old, been sitting two years. Um, so he's uh, gonna let us use that till we get ours fixed. He said, keep it till winter or till we're done with our fall cut if we need to. So great, great thing to have good neighbors, but hopefully we can get our six basket back in order. So. That's it for this one. Again, uh, y'all leave Country Gal a comment. Maybe next time she'll uh, show us a little bit of her face. But as you can tell, as things went on and progressed, she got more and more comfortable with the camera. So hopefully we'll see her on more videos. Appreciate y'all watching.